I've been barbering since February of 64 here and it's been a wonderful life and I want to thank all the people that have been I don't call them customers no more I call them friends because after so many years you do attach yourself with the people because uh, you know you tell them you get your family stories you got your working stories, your work, you know, and how the health story and everything. So you gotta, you, you know, you become, you're a barber and you're a, you know, you, you're a listener. I tell you a story, but I don't know if that'll go. But I'll, I'll tell you a story that uh, will, will give you what you called it, the convincer. I was a plumber in '62, and we were working on Main Street here. And we're working under this crawling space. So, you no, know, I was the youngest one, so I crawled under this two foot uh, uh, crawling space and broke the, the cast iron elbow. And we got a snake and we're pushing it towards the septic tank to open it up. Here I am on my back. There's a two story building on, that I'm underneath, and all of a sudden, somebody flushes. And I was in January. Of 62, and I then I went to uh, in 60, uh, 62, yeah, and I went to then the next next month I went to school because there were 14 barber shops in 64 mm. in Port Colburn, 14 of them, and even every, every barber shop there, there were three. There's the barber shop next door, barber shop on Main, the gentleman on the, on the corner there, he worked in the nickel plant, and he kind of cut Saturdays after work. If men want to come in a place like this. And just kind of a talk sports, talk uh, whatever, you know. And it's kind of a, it's kind of a, you know, getting get away from the, you know, go there and get your, you know, not don't talk and just get haircut and go out. You know, you wanna, they want to have that conversation with one on one deal, like I said before, with the with the, you know, with everything, jobs, health, uh, families. You know, you kind of uh, they they want to have that one on one. You become you become. Uh, like one of those uh, psychiatrist guys, you know, you kind of you, you listen and you say yes, yes, but you cannot really know what they really, uh, what you, you know, what you got, what they're going through. You just kind of agree and you kind of uh, have a, a nice, uh, nice conversation. Some people you just come in, sit in a chair, and don't even say what what kind of hair how to cut it because you already been cutting. And you just kind of you talk about everything else except what what kind of haircut they want. Now a new person, that's a different story because then you got to find out what is short to them and what is short to you. So you kind of a, you kind of hold on a little bit because I always said you could take it off, but you can't put it back on. <laughs>